and I'll say something you don't like. And this will be good. Every woman, I did not say men, every woman is a potential prostitute. It just takes circumstances for them to become one. Now here I have to elaborate. This one will save women, so listen carefully. Every woman is a potential prostitute. It only takes circumstances for you to become one. Now, you know I can say that about men, but I can't. Because we men, when we don't have anything, we can't sell ourselves. No one will buy. They, they did not get it either. Let me go this side. Some people. It's not that we don't want the opportunity to also become that if we don't have anything. But no one will buy. Go into the streets now. See men standing there. It will be women standing like this. With their body naked. With their, why are they doing that? Because when you don't have anything, at least you have yourself to sell. I know you don't like truth. This world hates truth. They will attack truth. This one, you will see it all over. Attacked. Sir, John, you can have a problem now. Money finished. No one supporting you. You can't sell your body. The opportunity to sell your body will be 2%. Women will have a 98% chance. I'm not saying all of them. I said every woman is a potential. I did not say they are prostitutes. But when circumstances heat up, you will sell your body. But this man, if he wants to sell his body, he can't. Even though he wants to. So the mind to sell your body is also in men. They just don't have buyers. They are not sellable. See, they are not getting it now. So you thought it was an attack on women, but wait, we are still here. So I want every son of mine to raise your hand. Let me explain to you something. Since I've already told you this, that means it is your duty to use your God-given power to get money and to get your woman God. If you don't give them God or money, don't blame them. This has nothing to do with fire, but it's fire. Turn to your neighbor. If you don't take care of your wife, your neighbor will. So some of you young men, because you don't like going to church, you will tell your wife not to go to church. Anything you do not submit to God, is the way and the route the devil will come through. And I know you people, you only caught when I said every woman is a potential prostitute. You didn't even check. I said every man is a potential prostitute. They're just not sellable. So what do we do? You need to rise as a man. Take charge. Take the opportunity that you were given by God. You can't just say, I am the father of the house. There is no sign for being a father of the house. The production is coming from your wife. I was like that one year when my wife was taking care of me. If a man doesn't bring food home, he's a murderer. So I started with a controversial statement so you catch it. I needed your ears to be pricked so you can listen. And I know you caught only part. You did not catch when I said all men are also potential gigalos. <laughs> it just takes circumstances for them to sell their own body, but they sell it differently sometimes to those who can buy. But they can sell it the same way that women will sell themselves because there is nothing. Any opportunity you are given, really the fire begin to burn. The work, that's what the Bible says. Wherever you work, work as if you are working for God. Why is the Bible saying it? 
it means you need a fire in you. Let fire rise in you. Let fire go up. Let fire be shown when you do what you do. I remember when I was in Manchester, a couple came to me and the husband was saying, you know what? We are having a problem with my wife. We are not intimate with each other anymore. I would never had, I was doing, you know, a small, small counseling before I canceled the counseling. And I said, what's the problem? I said, this woman, I don't know. I just, sometimes I want to do something. Then the wife said, I want to tell you the truth, Papa. I just want to tell you the truth. The truth is, he doesn't do anything with me. No intimacy anymore. And sometimes we actually go into the bedroom thinking we're going to have intimacy. And he wants it for two minutes, three minutes. And then he just said, no more. I'm not doing it. I said, no problem. They are, they are here now. Hearing. They're from our branch. They're here. I said, what is happening? Brother, what is happening? How do you say you, you want your woman for two minutes? And then said, I won't feel it anymore after two minutes. I said, tell me the reason. I said, Papa, I don't have reasons. I said, no, 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 no. no. Who, said, who says, let's go and do whatever? The, husband, the wife said, is him? I said, ah, it's you. Who says, who grabs it to say we are going? And then you stop. He said, Baba, every time before we do it, she kneels down and says, let's thank God before. <laughs> what type of prayer are you doing? What? Father, I thank you for the sugar we are about to test. Oh. Well, what nonsense is that? He said, not only that, after we finish, she grips my hand and said, we thank God. I have no scripture to argue with that point. You are growing. Don't, don't laugh at them. There is no scripture to say they should not do it. But if you see your husband is not like that, why don't you pray way before? And pray for yourself. Thank God yourself for the thing. Why join your husband in this prayer? I've touched some few people here. They already know themselves. Now imagine... You are lacking natural fire, hindering your own marriage. You think your husband is for you to look decent to. The day you dress nice and you are wearing tight is when you are about to get out of the house. Well, for those of you who might not know the preacher or the name of the preacher that you just saw in that video. His name is Uba Angel, and I think he's from Zimbabwe, if I'm not mistaken. And he is also very, very popular. He's really popular. But sometimes I can't help but question some of his rationale for saying the things he says in his church. You know, I saw a video where he was saying that only the mothers know the real fathers of their children. And uh, he was urging his members like strongly to do a DNA test on their children to be quite sure if those children belong to them. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, really wow, to say the least. How can a man of God be, be saying things like that? Like, it is not his place, right? People go there to talk about God 
and salvation and how to live a good life, a pure life, and how to be close to God. Not to be told to start suspecting their partners. And I, I, I didn't find that to be the avenue where such conversations should be had. And now he started this one by saying that women are potential prostitutes. And in his defense, he only said that because he was trying to get the attention of the women and the men. Well, that is what he said. That according to him, women are very sellable. And if the men do not step up, if the men do not carry out their responsibilities as men, then their wives might just sell themselves to other people who are able to do what their husbands cannot do. And the, they, I mean the husbands must make sure that their wives are Christians or their wives at least know God. Now, there's a lot of things to unpack in what he said because he flip-flops like from one topic to another, to another, to another. Let's take, for example, that uh, your wife is the breadwinner of the family. Can they take care of you? I know we have this African mentality that the man should be the one to take care of the family, which is, which, which is okay, okay? The man should take care of the family. But if your wife can do that, shouldn't she do it? Or it is, it is the most that the man must do it? Uh, I am someone who believes in gender equality, and I know this is kind of like difficult for most Africans to comprehend. For that, I understand with them. But I believe in gender equality. I believe that if we power our women and our female children, they will be independent enough, so much so that they can take care of not only themselves, but also their loved ones and maybe their family. So if a man, for some reason, is unable to take care of their family, the women can step in and assist them. There is no big deal in that. And secondly, the just the fact that your husband cannot or would not take care of you doesn't necessarily mean that you go selling yourselves. Okay, it doesn't mean that. Because this is what I believe, right? I believe that people who want to do something will do it. If a lady wants to sell herself, she will do that. It doesn't matter whether the husband takes care of her or not. Now, some people might argue that difficult times might push the lady into doing outrageous things, which I will counter-argue that with if things are hard, there are other ways that she can go about taking care of herself rather than selling herself to a neighbor. If the husband is unable to take care of her and the children, she can sell. She can carry out other activities to help the family. If she sells herself, there is no justification for that. Whether the husband was taking care of her or not. And most ladies who 
are committed to their partners wouldn't think of selling themselves as an option. They wouldn't think that way. They would do other things to help themselves. So sometimes I just think that the man of God, Oba Angel, is just putting ideas into people's head. And the, I sometimes I suspect that he might have issues with ladies. And so he is always like, I don't know if it is like um, belittling them or trying to cast them as an entity that cannot have self-control. This is what I just think sometimes. Because if he can come and say, women are just one step away from becoming prostitute. What does that mean? And why go with this analogy? Why? And let me be clear. Men do sell themselves. I'm happy he, he said that. I'm happy he said that. Because men do sell themselves. Anyone or everyone can be sellable. If people want to sell themselves, they will sell themselves. That is the honest truth. And I, I, just, I just wish that somebody in his church might just I mean, I mean, object some of the things he say in his church. I just wish. But you know what? If you've been brainwashed this long, no matter what a so common of God say, you won't even consider yourself powerful enough to object to, it, to them. If, it, if it's gone this far, then there is no way out, isn't it? But anyway, I would like to hear your own opinion in the comment section below. After hearing what the man of God, Uba Angel, said, what is your take? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And please, kindly like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, because that helps us a lot, and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.